For the first time, we've interviewed at length the fisherman carrying out the South West drumline operation. He's told Nine News the operation is moving into a new phase. And while he acknowledges he has a controversial role, he's doing work that might save lives. The shark fisherman told us there's no point hiding his identity. So you hope you'll be able to save lives? I hope so. That's the whole idea, mitigation. He spoke to Nine News after catching and shooting this tiger shark off Bunker Bay. At more than four metres long, it's the biggest shark caught on a WA drum line to date. How was it to deal with that four metre plus tiger shark? Oh, it was, it was difficult, you know, awkward. You know, you sort of have to make it up as you go along. After hauling the drum lines out of Geograph Bay this morning, the shark fishermen set the first one off Gracetown this afternoon. The fact that they're so close is a <laughs> may draw them in. Makes a lot of people feel safer, so it's pretty much more about people coming down, spending money. The first drum line is close to Huzza's surf break, near where father of two, Chris Boyd, was killed by a shark less than three months ago. His death sparked the state government's shark kill policy. The shark fisherman believes this is the most likely spot a great white will be caught on a drum line. The conditions here are a little more sort of oceanic, I suppose you might say, and uh, the potential will be greater here for whites, I think. Three surfers have been killed in 10 years off Gracetown. Chris Boyd in November last year, Nick Edwards in 2010 and Brad Smith in 2004. What if you end up with a five metre great white out here? Yeah, well that'll be challenging. That'll be really challenging. Drum lines have been in the water for 18 days now. Matt Tinney's live in Narrabup and Matt, what's the shark catch tally now? Well, Lou, by my count, more than 30 sharks have been caught on drum lines off Perth in the southwest. Some shot, some found dead, others released. So far, no great white sharks have been hooked and the state government is still to release its official catch stats. Tomorrow, a Green senator will introduce a motion into Parliament asking the Federal Fisheries Minister to withdraw the exemption which allows the WA government to kill great white sharks. Lou.